Hello, welcome to Auto Traders Videos. I'm Tyler Hoover from Hoobie's Garage, and this week I am not going to have any opinions, unlike last week where a lot of you thought I was wrong in the fact that wood paneling needs to make a comeback, and it does. You're, you're wrong and I'm right. But anyway, we're going to avoid opinions this week, and I'm just going to talk about cars, except by myself. There won't be someone sitting next to me constantly interrupting and talking over me, just me and my own thoughts, which will be nice for a change. And today's video is inspired by the fact that new car sales data reported that two brand new Lexus LFAs sold in 2019, which is amazing because they quit production of the LFA in 2012. So this is really stale inventory, eight-year-old V10 supercars that Lexus dealers finally sold. But in this case, it's not a bad thing because in the eight years since these cars ceased production due to poor sales, lack of demand, they've almost doubled in value. They've become legendary collector cars in that period. So Lexus dealers stuck with this old inventory made a lot of money. And it had me wondering if two brand new eight-year-old cars sold in 2019, are there any other interesting old new cars for sale on AutoTrader right now? And it turns out there's a lot. If you click on the link below on AutoTrader, I've compiled a list of the most interesting cars that I found, but now I will just describe them to you here. The first car on this list is a 2015 Chevrolet Corvette Z06 convertible, which is $26,000 off of its original MSRP. It's a five-year-old new car with something like 30 miles on the odometer, finished in a beautiful Laguna Blue tin coat metallic. This 650 horsepower convertible has not sold in five years, and now it is deeply discounted. And in my opinion, it's not the car's fault. It's an amazing car. It's Chevrolet's fault because they have been hinting, leaking little bits here and there about the mid-engine Corvette for so long, for so many years, they stunted the sales of the previous C7 generation. Just now we're going to start seeing the C8 Corvettes, but for years people have been anticipating the C8s and not buying the C7s, and they've seen this slump of sales. But still, hopefully this cool little car finds a home someday. It's kind of sad to see a five-year-old car with only 30 miles on it, just, just sitting at a dealership. Moving on to something not sporty, it's a 2016 Mercedes Sprinter, and it looks like this Sprinter was built for a very specific purpose that I really can't figure out what that purpose is. This big cargo area has two compartments, both of them are refrigerated, maybe one's a freezer and one's refrigerated, a bunch of stainless steel shelves, really not a lot of room for cargo with all the stuff that they put in there, which makes me think it was ordered by someone custom for a very specific purpose and they never took delivery of the Sprinter. So this is all guesswork, but the dealer then would have taken the deposit or whatever and then tried to sell the Sprinter themselves and four years later, they still haven't found a home for it. I'm not sure what you could do with this, sort of strip it out maybe, and make it a refrigerated delivery truck or a little small portable ice skating ring? I, I really don't know, but that's probably why this thing has sat for sale for so long. Number three on this list is another vehicle designed to work, a 2015 Chevrolet 3500 Dually. And this poor Dually is five years old and it has never been put to work. And this truck is advertised over $7,000 off its original MSRP, but five years later, it still hasn't found anyone that wants to put it to work. And I think this is really unusual because it is a regular cab 3500 pickup truck. Chevy has discontinued the regular cab trucks altogether because most people want more interior space. They don't want a small cab anymore, but this is one of the last trucks to be a regular cab, except it is missing the entire pickup truck part. And that's because whoever bought this truck was supposed to put on a bed of their choice. If they're a farmer, they'd want a flatbed or like plumbers or whatever, they could put on their own little cabinet thing. You, you, you see them, you know what I'm talking about. And sadly, this truck has been waiting for five years for someone to make it complete, to make it whole. And I'm sure there's a lot of lonely hearts on Valentine's Day that can relate to that sentiment. Moving on, we have a 2017 Fiat 124 Spider advertised for $22,490. And the Fiat 124 Spider, which was developed in coordination with the Mazda Miata, the same chassis, has been a slow seller in the United States from the start. Miata sales have beat it something like three or four to one over the years. And I think this particular 124 has had a hard time finding a home because it's an unfortunate combination of options. It is the lowest trim Classico model, and I imagine most people would opt for the more luxurious Lusso model or an Abarth that they wanted something even more sporty and they get that nice turbo engine. But this one, despite being the stripper model, the people looking for a poverty spec Miata or 124 won't buy it because it has the automatic transmission. So it's a low option car with an auto trans. That's kind of a tough combo, a gray area, and it's probably why it sat for so long, but still, it's deeply discounted. Its original MSRP was $28,000, so percentage-wise, that is a big discount from new, but it still hasn't found a home yet. 
Poor little thing. And the last car on my list is definitely the wildest. It's a 2016 Ford Mustang GT convertible. And despite the fact that it's four years old, it has an asking price of nearly double that of a new stock Ford Mustang GT convertible. But that's because this one was customized by Petty's Garage. It is the King Petty Edition. This company is named after the Richard Petty namesake, which explains why it has his racing colors on it. It's the Petty Blue. And if you look at the pictures, it's been modified in many different ways, including in performance. It has a supercharger on the 5 liter V8 that sends the horsepower to over 670. So all of that performance modification, brake work, it's certainly expensive, which is why they are asking $75,000 for this Mustang GT. It may be a future collectible too. I give them a thumbs up for giving it a manual transmission as well. So those were the most interesting cars that I found on Auto Trader that were old new cars right at the moment. Those cars could sell or change during this time. Hopefully a few of them find homes. But I'd like to challenge you, yes, you sitting right there to go on Auto Trader right now, linked below, and find the coolest old new car that you can find. Post it in the comments. I'll take a look, give you a thumbs up, thumbs down, and we'll continue the conversation there.